We learned about installing Flutter, installing Visual Studio Code, and adding an Android virtual device in the last video. Let's create a new Flutter project. Open command prompt by typing cmd in search. Copy the folder location in which you want the Flutter project to be located. CD paste location enter. Now let us create the new project. Flutter create project name. You can give it a name of your choice. Make sure the words start with a small letter. Enter. If you look at the folder, you can see that the project folder is created. Now open the Visual Studio Code. File. Open folder. Select the project folder. You can see some folders and files. pubspec.yaml This is the settings file. The dependencies are added inside this file. Take the folder called lib. Open the main.dart file in it. This is the default counter application code in Flutter. Let's start the virtual device and run it. We learned about installing virtual device in the last video. Here you can select the device on the bottom right side. Now the Chrome browser is selected. Click and select a mobile emulator. The emulator is running. Let's run the project. Terminal. New terminal. Write the command. Flutter run. Yes, it is running in emulator. Opened. It's a counter app. As soon as you click on the button, the number in the middle will continue to increase. The terminal has a few shortcut keys. Small r is hot reload. Capital R is hot restart. Q is quit. Capital R. Application restarted. Value is zero now. We can stop only the imported material.dart file above and delete the rest. Every Flutter apps are building is just a widgets. Widgets are the UI building blocks. Like app bar, header image, list. Some widgets contains other widgets. Material.dart is a Dart file containing many material widgets. Void main function. Create such widgets, we need to create a class, because widget is a special type of object. Class class name my app. You can give any name. Just be sure to be the first letter capital. Let us inherit a class of Flutter using the extend keyword. Extend stateless widget. This is a base class in the materials.dart file. In addition to using its functionality, we can also add new features. 
A build method that returns widgets while extending this class must be written. The build context argument must pass. It is an object used to draw on the screen. We need to create and return the material app. All the arguments in the material app meathead are named arguments. Home argument. Add widget text. Pass string hello world. Run app is the basic method used to run Flutter. In it we can call the object of my app class. Save. Now let's look at another way to run without using a terminal. Run. Run without debugging. Hello world is displayed. Let us align it to the middle. After home, add a widget called center. Child text hello world. Now let us press the hot reload button. Yes, it's in center. Here are some buttons. Hot reload. Restart. Stop. Application is stopped.